this alteration is comprehensive and irreversible. I love seeing the sunrise on his face. Okay. You know he used to drink free raw eggs Company man. Each morning. <laughs> his favorite breakfast. We'll get you prepped in here. Oh. One of the questions. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Say Mr. E something. Edgerton E something. Esker. It's something. It started with an E. Mm -hmm. Edgar's? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, I wonder what the the brother man, I wonder what his, to what degree he severed, because like right. you said, he goes back and forth. Why you have to shake Just him? relax. Right, you should have a little patch. Right. They didn't watch Grey's Anatomy. They did. Excuse me? No, I'm awake and I can hear and I and I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you make medical products. Mm -hmm. So they were saying that it was irreversible, mm -hmm. but it's clearly not. Or I mean, it is because they're just putting something in, um, like a little device in there, and you can take the device out. Oh, sure. I thought they were actually going in there and snipping something out. Me too. So that's probably so what they to told them. Out. That's weird. Yeah. Don't worry. And um. I'm very excited to meet you. Because they can no longer access those memories, they just believe it. Right. Like they didn't have recollection of the procedure, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no! It go that deep. That's why I would say it's irreversible. It's got prongs on it. Mm. You try to pull that out, you're ripping your brain. No, Luna, what y'all doing over here? What is this for? And that's all she knows. She done made it to work. It's all part of the process. You want to spin around and head back in, that should be that. So is this from? What the hell? I think this is before she went in for that interview. Okay. Not a problem. Want to give it another shot? It goes a little off. It's going fair. Not fair. No. I was trying to say, was this when she was going back and forth with the board for? He was there the entire time. I just, I just want to get to, like, is this all just an experiment that they all signed up for? Are they not really fully aware that they signed up for an experiment? Or are they actually doing work? Right, this is a medical trial. Right. So it's 9.05. Yeah, they stagger the entries, too, so we don't meet on the outside. It's important, apparently. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're not... Because it'll probably trigger some kind of mm -hmm. memory. One of those, you look real familiar. Right. Do I know you? Mm -hmm. I've got it 96% sorted, which means I've earned four of the five tier incentives, including the erasers and the finger traps. Yeah, this is just something to keep them busy. Mark, I'm sorry to interrupt. I know you were trained. I'm like, no. Remove the group photos from the desk. Yeah, we're going to take the new ones at Ellie's party today. Oh. I don't know her. I do think the old photos are supposed to stay on the desk. Until the new ones come in. I'm the boss now. Put your wall back up and hush. Should this mean something to me? No. No, all the data comes from upstairs fully encoded. Then how do I categorize right. it? Right. What? They don't know. They're just pressing the numbers. Numbers. Presents in such an order as to elicit an emotional response in the refinement. Oh. Feel a certain way on sight. They'll be sort of disconcerting, scary. Scary. I know. My job is to scroll through the spreadsheet and look for numbers that are scary. Sounds dumb, and Mark said it dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, I just printed out the passage of the handbook on changing our group photos. So just might be good to prove. Everyone has that one coworker. Right. Go sit Go down. Go do your job. Please. This is not your job. Am I trapped here? No. Try. Why would you say that? Like if it turns out I hate this and I want to quit, is that an option? Why would you want to quit your job? P did it. Unfortunately, the elevators are equipped with something called code detectors. 
So messages can't be passed through. They're like metal detectors for written symbols. Don't know who that is, or if that's just a lie. Guys, this is Helly. She's 30 years old, she's allergic to almonds, and has weak enamel. Oh, dang. At 5'6", she's the fourth tallest person in your office. And her hair is what we call shoulder length. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd say she most definitely has a family. Oh. This is the best special. So, mm. That's all right. <laughs> it is puzzling you have an outburst like this for Petey and not for, say, Carol D. And who is that? Carol but we knew Carol D was leaving before him. For how do you film the thank you? Mm. He was just gone. Mm. And it's not free to learn. Yeah. I, I don't know if he's. That's a new job, or drunk on the beach, or dead. That's enough, please. This is definitely a medical experiment. Mm -hmm. He's not sick. No. He's I part of it. He's given it. Remind ourselves what is it, Duke? Like deaths happen. A life at Lumen is protected from such things. And I think a great potential death. response to that from all of you. Right, because you're still a human. Right, and she threw something at my head. Also, I could be concussed. Mm -mm, why your nails dirty? What body is you done buried on the outside? Why still. Why those two? What you was doing? Sorry, Absolute filth. So how are you going to figure out if he's okay? Oh, I think Milchick was pretty clear. You're just done asking about your best friend because our babysitter told you to stop? Yes. And yeah, that's the rules. Yeah, no chicks are nice, man. <laughs> she said, don't come in here doing all that. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't even know him. Right. Be nice up there. Oh. Okay, we're finders. They can't always be nice. Y'all are in jail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he got to cut it out. Uh, he's like, he is funny. He is a company man. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, sir. Hell it. What are you doing? Oh, I, I just think I'm not gonna work here anymore. Oh. I'm sorry. What do you mean? I'm crazy. I don't want to do the file sorting thing or the never seen the sun thing or the disappearing friends thing. I just don't want to be. I told you, there's code detectors. Did you know that? Have you tried? Because frankly, it sounds made up. She gonna oh. get lasered in the elevator. Yeah. They gonna strike you down. Because mm -hmm. we can't get our secrets out. Now you don't running. know where you're going. Don't! You just got here. I thought that's what and he was doing. And why is Mark Chase and not Milche? Because he was on the phone with somebody. You already know what's up. Please, Fire. <laughs> right. Incinerate. Uh oh. Who is this? Company man. Mm -hmm. He looked black and white. <laughs> It's jail. What have we got here? Perhaps you better come with me. Maybe to put something in the paper to know if you carry any paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's on my wayward trainee. Sorry, this is Helly. <laughs> Helly, Mr. Grainer. But Mr. Grainer can read what the paper say, can he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. If Helly took the code detectives, that one saw me, and uh, I apologize for that, sir. Honestly. Did he not go over the consequences with her? Like, the department chief, not Marcus. I don't think they do. Do they know? Because right. they don't be breaking he the sounds... rules. Let's go. Oh, discipline mm, for you. Yeah. He thought he was going to get the slide. No. <laughs> but also, can you give me the process for resi for resigning? Because right. I still want to do that, actually. I just won't carry a note in the elevator. Yeah, I'm just wondering, did they tell her that before she signed up for this, that was possibly not a possibility? I mean, obviously the outside stuff would be the one that knows, but... Oh, Where? Uh-uh! Break, Break room. room. Uh, excuse me, do you have a moment for children's brain health? Children's children's have a moment health. for children's brain health? Severance is subjugation. Asshole. Oh, oh, that's nice language for it. Uh, what, what are you, 12? Are you 12 years old? Are you even in high school yet? So then stop talking to a child if you want to say that. And were you not cussing at me? <sighs> I killed Johnny Cass home. 
So please. You need therapy, not severance. And get out of them people housing. Mm -hmm. They probably pumping gas in there, son. Keeping you hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Watch your neighbor. You better hide that. Kyle thought you said your neighbor. <laughs> I was like, how? Oh, so on the, at the door? <laughs> Are we funny? I just keep thinking about those dumb bins. She oh, got an accent? That is so not dumb necessary. Bins. But uh, very kind. Thank you. Bye. Does she know that she works at the place? I think she's in on it, yes. Nope. I think she's keeping an eye on him. Yeah. Oh, duh, Amber is staggered. So they're not leaving the house at the same time anyway. So if you don't ever see her leave or come back. Right. Somebody gonna get hit with some icicles. I just feel it. She's like, they're not showing these for nothing. They ain't showing them for nothing. I'm like, do they ever call in sick? I'm like, are they? do they ever run late for work? Right. I don't know more about them trying to legalize it mm -hmm. or force it and fire children involved. Seth Milchek, I'm in Industries. Mr. Milchek, it's Mark Scout. I'm a severed worker, employee number 4502. How can I help you? I actually woke up not feeling terribly well. I'm sorry, I'm just now calling. Oh, no. It sounds like you're in your car. Because it's subsidized housing, I'm like, they got all kinds of surveillance in there. So they know that you're not at home safe. Right, and like you said, you sound like you're in your car. Sure, I hope not. Smart. Sick or fired? Probably sick. Hey, they wouldn't have fired him for me up there, would they? No, no way. They did a student break room yesterday. Can you explain to me what that is? is? They don't know. They ain't been in there. What's going on with you? Oh. What'd you see? What'd you see? 32. Oh! Oh! No! The metal leaking in your brain. Yep. That's what it is. Oh, I hate it. Baby, you see it. When do you gonna start screaming? <laughs> when does that when does that start? <laughs> because I feel like it would be appropriate. Right. Something. You just gonna let it get you. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everything. <laughs> How you just pop up immediately? Okay, if our Audis are out there severing their brains, shit must have gotten pretty bad. Famine, plagues, etc. Etc. So what is it just populated to see? So we send the probes down, they send us the data coded, we sense what's eels, and then we tell the probes what to blow up. Stop talking to me. We can, we can, uh, how I push the swallow. How did any of that make sense to you, sir? Thanks for cutting swear words out of movies. <laughs> why? But why? You okay? His finger is dirty too. I was about to say, I wonder if uh, Irv is in on it. And he just don't know he is. Right. Sorry. Reintegration sickness. Reintegration I've never heard of that one. Okay, so I'm a load of people. what is it that happens down there that's so bad? There's this room. The break room? We go in there where we don't act right. Mm -hmm. What did they do? Beat them. What was that? You got a recording. Ooh. Is that? Is that why little girl keep bringing up religion and stuff? Because they break you in there, mm -hmm. the break room. Mm -hmm. Most people only think of OMD when new handbook totes come in. <laughs> There's new ones coming next month. Now that's all I'll be thinking about until then. Y'all done love on outside. <laughs> right. Your Audi attends many dances. Is popular among the other attendees. You're like, yeah, right. <laughs> You're like, I'd be liking a boogie, yeah. That's filthy and wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
please try to enjoy each fact equally. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's ten points off. You have ninety points remaining. Points? Oh. Please don't speak. Another ten points. <laughs> Your Audi is skilled at kissing. And why? Why do you need to know that? What does this have oh. to do with my? Right. <laughs> so, oh. I'm sorry. Another ten points. Respond to any specific fact. That's ten points off. I was just. Please don't speak further. Or all remaining points will be deducted, and the longest session will end. What do these points How mean? How is this supposed to make me well? Dude, for the safety of this department. You feel I'm something? It done kicked in. Do it, guys. Newman has been good to us, and it is guys. Is that garbage one? He's five, freaking me out. For that. Do you see it? Why is why is it not? You okay? Just fence off the bad data like I showed you. Can you see the perimeter? <laughs> the there's some of that Boom. Fucking fine. All right, Helly. Hip hip. <laughs> they were scary. The numbers were scary. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, it's real. Mm-hmm. It just took a minute. The numbers were scary. Mm-hmm. She ain't going to kind of job. What the job are you freaking me out? <laughs> like, what a 911 scare you? You can't never call for help. You sit on the couch. It's like your sleeping bag. You can use the. Why is it smart to bring him home? Of course not. What are you trying to say? And why would you think that was a good idea? Because he don't know that his boss lady lived next door. But still, he should have an idea that he's being watched if he didn't want to go home. I'd be pissed if I went to sleep in a greenhouse. Mark might not be fully connecting that this is real. Like, whatever distress oh, he's in laughing. could actually affect him as well. He just like, he said he used to work for me. He has some, some information that sound about right. I'm calling you. Mm -mm. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, Too late. Oh, no, your brain's bleeding, baby. Yeah. How did you go about getting that? How did you get it out? Because it's got those prongs. Maybe it did he lie. It didn't get out. Something's happening to the device and his brain. Or maybe like you don't take it out, but there's a process to get it to like Something. stop. And that's where he messed up. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh, you see yourself in the shower at work, but at home, but at work. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh no. Are you okay? No. Is it dead? He's a vegetable. What's going on with Petey? He is definitely unwell. Yeah. And he might not be making it through through the shower. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna make it. He's gonna bounce back. Mm -mm. Like so, what happened in this episode? So <laughs> we, we, he was sick. He went to go chat with PD to get more mm -hmm. answers. Mm -hmm. Something happened with Irv. Yeah. Like what was that? Because I mean, the little goop thing that he was seeing, they just had that like in the, in the little mm -hmm. um, intro. So what is that? Um. And is was he actually like sleep, or he looked sleepy to happen, and that's how Milchek would come in and get him. Right. And why is reminding them or telling them about something about their their outside self something that's supposed to be a wellness check for them to help them get back to work? How does that work? Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then it just doesn't seem like they vetted this new girl. What's her name? Helly. Helly. Mm -hmm. So, to know that she would be the type of person that would question things like that, they didn't. Like what? What's what's the actual interview process to be like? Yes, you were a good candidate for this. And now that seeing how she's behaving in comparison to how the men are behaving, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's a man woman thing, mm -hmm. but it makes me it gives me the feeling that she came in there intentionally to uncover something. Right, like, I'm not That's here what I'm too. to be an employee or I've worked for the company on mm -hmm. a different level, and this is a promotion. Right, I'm feeling like she heard about something or had a relative that was involved mm -hmm. in whatever. 
So she went and she's investigating, it out, right? Yeah. Because I feel like your personality of who you are essentially should not change. Like, however you are at work, that's the same person you're going to be when you're severed and then in the work environment. You know what I mean? Like, however um, Mark is behaving at work right now, that's how he behaved at, if he was doing that job and not severed. That's how he would just behave. And see, I'm Maybe thinking... less robotic, but he his, like, he wouldn't question everything as much. I don't know what I'm trying to say. And see, I'm thinking there needs to be a distinct personality change to prove that you are severed. Mm -hmm. Um, because you're not carrying baggage and memories in, in your life in with you. So why would you not come into work and just be positive and happy? Like he seems like he goes in the elevator and becomes this upbeat person, mm -hmm. um, without a care in the world. Just, I'm just here to do my job. Right. Um, while she, on the other hand, seems like you were saying exactly how she, she seems to be exactly how she would be in, in the real world. Right. The way she acts in the office. Mm -hmm. So that makes me question, like, is she actually severed? Well, I mean, we, saw, she has we, saw to her, we saw her get the procedure, but I feel like if she had went in with the intent of, yes, I want to be severed, then she would have a different personality. I don't yes, think she yes, would be, yes, yes. I don't think she would be questioning things as much, but because she wants to find something out, that's why her work job can't figure out the girl, get undercover, shut up. Mm -hmm. And that, so she's just acting as she normally would be. Mm -hmm. She might be like a reporter I see or what something you're saying. outside. Mm -hmm. So I feel like because Mark went in wanting to be severed, he's like, I just want to go into his work and not think about this. He fully bought into it. Yeah, so he's not questioning mm -hmm. things. Um, which means feel like they didn't, what kind of vetting process happened to know she would be a good candidate for this because the way right. she's acting would make me think she was not a good candidate. She shouldn't, yeah, she shouldn't have even gotten yeah. past the, the first stage, whatever that is. Right. And uh -huh. less, like I said, they haven't really told us about everybody else's first time. So did all of them go through this process? Mm -hmm. And that's why they haven't kicked her out yet because they're like, eventually they'll She'll, catch, catch yeah. on. Yeah. Because I mean, like now she's starting to see the numbers and whatever. Right. Maybe there was just like, oh, it need a freak out. Got to work out or something. Yeah. Maybe. So I'd like to get more flashbacks of like, what was yeah. their first day? What were they questioning? Like. Um, Mark made it sound like when they first went into the room, yeah, they were kind of like, ah, oh, what's going on? Mm -hmm. But were they that, oh, I want to get a letter out, or I mean, I got to get a note out, I got to get out of here, I want to quit, like... Right. Um, yeah, more questions than answers, mm -hmm. and we only two episodes in, so yeah. um, I feel like at some point, that we're going to get the full picture and be like, oh, um, right, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to add. Mm-mm. All right, that was episode two of Severance, y'all. Drop down in the comments what you thought about this episode. Um, would you go undercover to expose a company knowing that they had to do brain surgery? Right. Put that in the comments, and we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.